Welcome to Coffee with Carrie, and let's talk a little bit today about how to not be creepy. Don't be creepy. How to approach women, talk to them, and not have a slight trace of creepiness at all. I have an entire guide, by the way, that's all about how to approach, start conversations with women in the wild, and there's a link to that every day. Every day down in the description box is a link to my free guide, how to be confident, what to say, how to flirt, all that stuff. If that's at all interesting, not being creepy, stick around because that's what's on the agenda. I just noticed that number four on my list should probably be number one. So I'm scooching it up and that is to pay attention to what's going on with her. See whether or not she's currently engaged in an activity where she would or would not appreciate being approached and talked to by someone she doesn't know. Because if you don't read the situation or pick up on her body language or expressions, it might appear creepy that you saw her look away when you made eye contact, yet you're gonna approach her and start a conversation. You didn't really read that situation well, and you might appear creepy. So number one would be to really just check in on where things are. Perhaps make eye contact prior to approaching. You, know, you notice somebody and you're looking at them and what would seem normal to look away because it might feel a little socially awkward, you hold that gaze just an extra second or two. And if they seem amused by that or they hold your glance back at you, <laughs> they also hold the gaze longer, then you know that it's safe to approach. They've given you an opening. They've given you a clue that you've intrigued them as well. So reading that situation, she's in the middle of a heated conversation with friends. Now's not a good time. If she looks like she's antsy and just trying to make body language to get to the bathroom right away from whoever she's speaking to, not a good time. Read the room. So if that was number four, this is number two. <laughs> and that is to just think about your vibe a little bit before you approach. You don't want to be overly anxious or showing up with big, big energy to a situation that really calls for you to be a little chill. Also take in her vibe. Is she in a big party mode? Is she very, seem to be kind of laying back from the, what's going on in her group of friends? If it's a, that type of a situation, you know, it worked. Do you know whether she's shy or, you know, she's always off by herself at lunchtime and you definitely wouldn't want to interrupt what she seems to treasure as alone time. So also reading the room, but also taking in the vibe and the energy so that when you approach, you can say something that is relevant. You want to comment by using something that's going on in this environment to start a conversation. So let's say this is at a club of some nature. Something just happened up uh, with the music. You can comment on that. You can comment on the temperature and there are the song selections, the how many people showed up tonight. If you're at a beach, I'm sick of going home with you know sandy towels. Where'd you get that cool chair? If indeed it's a cool chair. Use the surroundings to find something relevant that you can say to start a conversation. Because being relevant is the opposite of being creepy. It also shows finesse when trying to converse with somebody you're attracted to. Also, as far as speed, this next one, don't speak quickly and try to ramble through everything you wanted to say. Kind of know what you're gonna talk about. Maybe practice it in your head a little bit before you put yourself in front of somebody. And remember to take your time with it because it's a little bit creepy if somebody walks up to you and just like, gushes, regurgitates some lines that they've practiced in their head, lays it all at your feet as if it was something that they knew they were going to say ahead of time. So to reiterate, take your time, take in the situation, make sure that you're not interrupting somebody else who's talking, be casual about it, make your comment that you've prepared ahead of time, maybe even practiced in your head, see what she has to say to that. Number four maybe, now that we're out of order here, is to not immediately mention the fact that you would like to get her phone number. Takes all the awkwardness out of that situation if you actually have a business card of some kind. So do you have a business card? Do you have a business for which you can have cards made? Or do you have something else, a passion project that you could actually stretch yourself into having a business card made for? 
So something to think about, but you definitely want to bury the lead, which is to get her number, and you've buried it so much that you've offered yours instead so that she has control of the situation and can reach out to you if likewise she is interested in going out with you. But if I haven't mentioned body language, I need to mention it here because I've noticed a lot of guys who walk up with a very non-confident attitude, hands in pockets or even behind their backs. I've seen that happen in situations where I'm kind of scoping out and watching how people are interacting. You want to have an open posture. You want your shoulders back. You want to stand up straight. You want to walk slowly and comfortably. You want to think about this before you head off because, you know, nerves can make us forget about all kinds of things. I understand that. A lot of people have anxiety or social anxiety, which makes this a, even more of a challenge for them these are things that you can practice too so remember that if that's an issue that you are faced with but body language of having an open friendly smile on your face and an open body posture as opposed to something very closed off or hunched over or looking shy with your hands in your pocket that projects confidence if you stand up straight and with your full height and your shoulders back and a, just a friendly smile on your face. I always feel the need to be clear and say that you don't like everybody you meet and this person that you find yourself attracted to also does not like everybody they meet and you may be one of them. But thank goodness because that allows you to move on and look for, meet, approach, have a conversation with somebody who is intrigued by you and what you seem to be bringing to the table. So don't let rejection get you down. It's literally three out of four ways that any encounter can go. You decided after speaking to her that you weren't interested. She decided she wasn't interested. You both decided you weren't interested. Or, ta-da, you both say, hey, yeah, I'd like to know this person a little better and meet for uh, a date. The fact that that happens at all is crazy when you think about it. So don't let any type of a rejection get you down. It's very natural and it's going to happen. And now a couple C's I grouped together that kind of encapsulates this process here, which is one, feel confident, build yourself up. There's no creepiness in confidence and feeling comfortable in yourself or in this approach. Make eye contact, test the waters, see if you get that little lingering look. You don't need it to approach, but it certainly gives you an extra boost of confidence if she smiled or held your gaze a little as well. And then start a conversation with something that's relevant. Add a compliment in. Don't make it about the way she looks during this conversation. Try to make her comfortable. Keep it clean. We don't want any sexual themes to enter the conversation when you're just meeting somebody. So no jokes with a double entendre or anything that seems too presumptuous for somebody you've just met. Instead, I suggest you be C, curious. Start with a comment about something going on in the surroundings and then ask some questions because you are a curious person and you wanna learn a little bit about her to make sure you do want her number and that you do want to learn more about her subsequently on a date. So some of these C's when you group them together can be a little reminder of what this mission is to appear not creepy, get her number, get her out on a date because you may want to eventually end up as a couple. <laughs> I'm so corny. All right. I hope you found this interesting, enjoyable at least. And I hope that you will, oh, mom says give it a thumbs up on your way out the door. That would be fantastic. Also subscribe to the channel because it really helps me out a lot. We can hang out again sometime soon. And I look forward to that. Until next time, have a good one.